This is what you see driving east over the Intracoastal Waterway Bridge on Atlantic Boulevard. A mound, some 30 feet high, with about 23,000 yards of dirt and an American flag. But how did it get there and why? Well, first, the Find Island story. And uh, the original intent was to try to remove all that material from there. But it was so far out into the marsh, it just was impractical to really remove that without probably causing more damage to the environment. So instead of having four to six feet of material all over the whole site, we uh, excavate it, uh, build a mound, and that will restore to the natural marsh. Though he didn't know who owned it, firefighter Skip Smith was inspired to give new meaning to this vast area. And the notion came to him about two weeks before September 11th. It just seemed like what an incredible moment to um, erect a flag in honor of 343 fallen firemen. The challenge was turning his vision into reality. He quickly called in other firefighters and they used their love of the water and paddle boards to accomplish their goal. We, we took the paddle boards and kind of got a really close look at the island and saw where we wanted to put the flag and kind of figured out the uh, route. Yet, they still didn't know who owned this perfect site for their tribute. And by now, the owner just didn't seem so important. Is I figured it'd be a lot easier to beg, uh, beg forgiveness with an American flag than it would be to say, hey, I'd like to go out there and put a flag up. With 750 pounds of concrete, along with pipes, shovels, sand, water, and the flag, Skip, Todd, and the other volunteers paddled and canoed over to Find Island and worked an amazing one hour and 15 minutes to erect this lasting tribute. To me, it's interesting that just by putting a flag on a pile of sand, it now turned into an island, and that island has significance, and that island now, to me, has a name. If they call it Find Island, we call it Hill 343, because that's what it means to us. I was, I was thrilled that they were able to do it, but we surely have no environmental impacts or concerns with it. That's a remote area. And because of the vision of these firefighters, they are now hoping that the community can really get involved and help buy a much bigger flag and maintain and even light that area. But they're also hoping that with any extra donations, they'll be able to send those proceeds to the firefighter widows in New York City. Joyce Morgan Danford for JTA Making Moves.